Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else, marriage. Hey, hey guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to cover why did Nini attempt to spit on Kenya during their Greece trip. This Time on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> This will actually play out on the episode coming up on Sunday night. This is the only clip I have, y'all, but it definitely looks like Nene formed her lips to do the act, which is absolutely nasty for a woman of Nene's age. And hey, I'm just being real and telling it like it is. We're also going to see what Kenya's response was to all of this. Her response is really very simple and to the point. And then we are going to dig into why Kenya is considered to be the villain on the show. I found it very interesting because I do consider Kenya to be a villain. But we're going to dig into all of that. A few of her friends actually answers this question for us. Now, filming is about to start for the Real Housewives of Atlanta's reunion, y'all, in about two weeks. Kenya Moore is already opening up to Series XM to say that her and Mark are good. She doesn't speak on their divorce or whether they are getting back together, but she does say that their divorce has really taken a turn. Now, they are co-parenting at the moment and no, he doesn't watch the show, but to me, you know, most husbands of reality television's wives don't really watch. They just don't, child. I also want to address the next episode that will air on Sunday when Nene formed her 52-year-old lips to attempt to spit on Kenya Moore. Honey, when I saw the clip, I lost it. I had already heard back in November that this was going to happen, but to see it play out on television really had your girl shook. Now, Nene sat down to do an interview and said that Kenya Moore probably needs to be spit on. She also goes on to say, I didn't even know what was going through my head or through my mind at the moment. But what I do know is I didn't spit on her, but I sort of kind of wish I had. I'm just going to be honest, she says, about that because I just think some of the things Kenya says is really nasty and really dirty. And I just feel like, girl, you probably needed to be spit on. And it may not sound great and I have no sympathy for her. I just don't, Nene says. Kenya blew the whole situation out of proportion and said she wanted to run with it and that's fine by me. I don't care, girl. Run with it. I only wish I had spit on you, girl. Now, y'all, those are the words of your girl, Nene, honey. Not me, myself, but I. Now, Kenya responded to all of this by simply saying, and it was really very simple and well put but kenya responded to all of this by saying nini is dead to her once someone tries to spit on you i think they're not ever going to be friends with you again so yeah on top of all of that everyone likes to label kenya as the villain and here is what her friends are saying about kenya being the villain i've heard you say um through other people who told me that kenya is really different off camera Oh, she's gonna hate that I say this because I mean, let's just say Kenya's a villain on the show and she loves it. She does it very well. Yeah. But Kenya is such a sweet girl. I went into preterm labor 31 weeks pregnant and Oof. the baby tried to come literally every single week, which is one of the times you saw on the show. Right. And Kenya would call me not on camera, not when people saw, but she would call me and check on me more than anyone besides from Cynthia. Yeah, and then he tell the woman that it's over. And the point is, he knew he was a damn married man when he walked out the door that day. Mm -hmm. and when he, he went to this too. woman's house. So he, she, he needs to, she needs to talk to him or whatever and stuff like that. But I can kind of tell you, it was something going on with him. I, he was cheating on here, some other kind of secret life. Because when a man treat a woman that way and be that mean and yes. dirty to him, honey, he got approval. He let the other woman look how I treat her ass. Yep. I don't care about you. Yep. You know, so you can't tell me, honey. I knew that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what old school come in, Brad. Old school come in. <laughs> that's where the grown folks that's step what, in. Exactly, because it was something, honey. I knew it was something to him, honey, or whatever. And he just trying to let that woman say, I don't like you. See how I talk to her and how I do her? You know, so I feel bad. Yeah, don't why? nobody because, deserve that. Because why be on the show if you're going to act like that? Thank you. don't treat her like that, why be on the show? Exactly. Right. So, y'all, let's keep Kenya lifted up in prayer. Absolutely. And, you know, I because, honey, that's, that's... I really I hate it, yeah. too, Ricky. I hate it, too. Yeah. And, and she's real like sweet, too. man. Kenya's really sweet. She yeah. really is. She's, She's nicer than people know because she plays this villain on TV, but she is a genuine person. She's a she sweetheart is. and does not deserve this. And now, this is going to wrap up this video. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. 
I'm gonna tune in Sunday. You know, I've already kind of prepared myself, but I'm really interested to hear what people have to say once they watch the episode on Sunday. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. As always, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.